you are welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will be constructing a parabola using the locus method and the question goes like this it says construct a parabola using the locus method which has its vertex 20 millimeter from the directories so the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to draw your vertical line and the vertical line you are drawing will be representing your directories so and it will be a thickened line how good to be what a thickened line and in some cases you might be given the length of the word the directories but in this case since it's not given you just draw your horizontal line at any given distance but if it is given, for instance, let's say the directory is 100, that means the horizontal line you'll be drawing will be at a distance of what, 50, that is half of the word directory. So I'll just place it at this way. And I'm going to draw this. Also, I'll thicken it this way. You can see that. So that line I am drawing. So this is my directories. Let me call it D D. That again, that should be my directories. Now we are not told that the vertex is 20 millimeter away from what? From the directories. So I'm going to use the directories and let me call here to be my point Q. Right? Or let me say zero. So from this point, zero, I'll measure 20 millimeter. So from this point here to this point is 20 millimeter, right? That will be my what? My vertex. Now, one important thing in constructing a parabola is that you should have a focus, right? And the focus in the parabola, since the eccentricity of a parabola is one, so the vertex is twice the focus. I will now multiply my vertex by 2 and the distance of the vertex is 20 so if I multiply by 2 it will now be what 40 so I'm going to measure 40 from my what from my meter rule this is 40 here so this will be my what my focus is that again now the next thing I'm going to do here is that I will draw a vertical line through my point V, that is my vertex, this way, you can see that, the vertical line through my point B at my vertex, and I'm going to take the distance of VF, this way, I'm going to mark up the place on the line and gauge it. I should have meeting in the VF this way. Right. So mark up. Now mark down. That again. So let's see where I mark up. I'll call it B. And where I mark down here, I'll call it Q. So I'll draw a line from O to pass through Q this way. I'll draw a line from point O to pass through Q this way. And I'll also draw a line from point O to pass through P also. Can see that now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll bisect the vertex and the focus to get my point one right so what I'll do is I'll place my compass in this manner between the vertex and the focus right and I'm going to strike an arc 
up and down with the same radius I'll place the advertis now strike an arc up and what and down so where it bisects where it reach up here I'll call it my point A and where it bisect down here I'll call it my point B I'll draw a line that will pass through point A and B in this manner to go to point 1 right that is my point 1 automatically my F here will give me my point what point 2 so I need to reproduce this point at least to five different parts on this line so I would like to do that I'm going to use my compass this is one and this is what F here so with the help of that I'll place it at F I'll get my point three put it at F point four put it at F point five you can do it as much as you want to do it but I'll just stop at five so this is three this is four and this is what this is five then through those points right through those points I am going to draw a vertical line through those points so through to here I'll draw a line this way two three I'll draw a line this way through four I'll draw another line this way through five I'll draw another line this way I see that now the next thing that will be happening here is let me just extend this so that to touch that line so where the line touches this inclined line this way like this I see that I'll place it at F I'll mark on the line up and down you can see that from point one I get this distance I place it at the focus I'll mark on that point the line of one up and down similarly I'll go from F to the top here since we're already on F I'll maintain that distance that again now the next one is from 3 to the top here right I put it on F, I'll mark up and down from 4 to the top here I put it on the F, focus, I'll mark up and down from 5 up here I put it on the focus, I'll mark up and down so all those points will be the point through which my parabola is going to pass. So I will use my French curve and I'll place it this way. You can see that. And I'll gauge this point, taking my focus as my starting my vertex as my starting point. So when I do it this way, I'll see that. Grab, grab this three point first from here straight down to touch here taking it you can see that I'll still bend it this way also to do the same thing from here to ensure that it is well placed There is a red list. I 
at least three points. So I'll connect these two them together. together oh yeah this one will be this So this is what we have. So we have successfully reproduced the parabola. So if you have found this um, video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video.